Arlene, thank you. And as you saw in that statement from the superintendent, multiple agencies responded to the incident at Canyon Springs High School this afternoon. Continuing our team coverage tonight, 8 News Now reporter Shakela Alvarenga is live with a closer look at what led up to that response. Shakela. Yeah, Denise and Brian, initially police believed that there were three victims here at Canyon Springs High School. That triggered a massive response from police to this area. This is a school. Um, that's why there was the, the large response. There were hundreds of 911 calls. The report, there was an active shooter on campus. Um, it was initially believed that it was an active shooter. Once officers arrived, um, there was a, a single victim. Um, that uh, victim was uh, attended to and transported and later died at UMC. Dozens of police officers swarmed the high school. Canyon Springs was immediately put on lockdown. As many as 500 magnet students and athletes were still on campus. Uh, it really tell them too much. Just said they were on lockdown and they couldn't get out to school. And, uh, it, so, and then somebody needed to come pick them up and I didn't know what was going on. Superintendent Jesus Jara praised administrators and teachers for following their training and keeping students calm until the lockdown was lifted. The response was exactly how it should be. Um, we, we had support from, uh, it was North Las Vegas School Police, we had North Las Vegas Fire, we had support from County Fire, uh, Metropolitan Police Department. Police say they do not believe this was a random act. The victim may have been targeted. We've got to figure out a situation, uh, a, a way to, to fix these situations because this is just happening too often across the country, not just here in Vegas. Now, there will be an increased uh, presence here and around campus tomorrow morning here at Canyon Springs High School. Reporting live, Shakela Alvarenka, 8 News Now. Back to you. All right.